Right guys, so welcome to Chain Speed Shop. This is a new little series we're doing. We're talking about some of the amazing super bikes, hyper bikes, classic bikes, anything you name it, that we have in stock. But if you've seen Donut Media, they do the car versions with your bike, it's called Bumper to Bumper. So, that's basically what we're trying to do here. A similar content for the bike people out there because there isn't much like it. So, let's get into this beautiful Ducati 1299R Final Edition. Let's go. Right, so Ducati threw everything at this bike. The suspension, the brakes, the engine, anything you name this bike has got. They threw everything at it to make it the best road going super bike of the time. And to wish it a final goodbye before they go to the V4 engine. And to say it short, what they've done has worked. They have made one amazing bike. So let's talk about engine. It's amazing, what do we say? It's virtually the same engine as a Superleggera. And the Superleggera is a 70,000 pound bike now. And this one's up at near enough 25 grand. Really, really is a great bike for the money. Warrior, we cannot forget about this beautiful exhaust system. It's an Acropovic, Acropovic, however you guys say it, everybody says it different. It's a full system, it's full titanium, so it does sound amazing. Now, obviously it is not as loud as you think, because it is a race, basically a race bike. It's just loud enough so you can go to track days, which is what this is made for. Made for absolutely storming it around, Cadwell Park, Donington Park, Sunset, you name it. It is going to be the best bike around that track when you go. Materials, you have this lovely brushed aluminium finish on the tank, and it really just does set it apart from the contrasting colours. Obviously, it just gives you that pristine, powerful look that you want from that mega exotic Ducati. And let's be honest, it's a collector's bike, and the little accents like these across the bike, you know, all the different colours, just really does set it apart from any other collector's bike out there. This is one that will go up in the money very shortly, in my opinion. Right guys, so that finishes off this episode of, well, what do we call it? We don't really show, sure. we don't have a name yet. I think we'll have to leave that up to you guys to decide. What should we call this series? It's going to be a, a weekly thing I'd say, you know, maybe two or three a week. Just to keep you guys updated on some of the awesome, classic, you know, super hyper bikes we have in stock. And just, you know, from average bikes as well, talking about 125s. You know, what's best for your CVT or, you know, the next best thing, you know, the next best super naked. Yeah, let us know what you think we should call it. See you next time.